that one. Welcome, Ben. Your internship will be directly with our founder, Jules Austin. Oh, I'm in the photo studio. Floater, love. Hey, Ben, what'd you get? Looks like I'm gonna be a personal intern. Nice. Two? Jules Austin. Unfortunate. Hang in there. I have secured an appointment for you to meet with Jules Austin today at 3.55 p.m. Please be prompt as Jules has another meeting at 4 p.m. I want to stop by the warehouse, 480 Greenpoint. Sure. No, 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 no. You want to make a right? Ninth to Hamilton to the expressway? Uh, I think we should take 4th to Flatbush much faster. It, it won't be. By 12 minutes, at least. Can I try? I apologize. You must think I'm demented. Not the word I would use, but I was a little surprised when I got the call. Jules, I apologize if I overstepped in some no. way. No, 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 please don't apologize. You have done nothing wrong. Look, I have a lot going on, and I'm a very private person, and at first, I don't know, I thought maybe this wasn't going to work, but I was wrong. I, let me get one of those. No, 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 no. No. Jules, no explanation necessary. It's, it's... No, actually one is, because I am usually better than this. The truth is... Something about you makes me feel calm or more centered or something, and I, I could use that, obviously. I hope you accept my apology and come back to work for me. If you want, and I'm not just saying this because I screwed up this morning, but I was thinking that I'd like to bring you up to my area next to Becky. I know you can handle more work if you, you'd like more. I. Oh, God, I can't tell you how much I hate that I jumped the gun and I made you feel... I'm coming like back. I'm happy to come back. <laughs> Excellent. Can I give you a lift back to the office? Sure. Okay. Can I take this? No. Oh. Actually, do you mind driving? I don't technically have a license. Sure. This is, this is crazy, Ben. Two vests are not going to fit in here. No, I promise. I'll stay out of your way. That's impossible because now I don't have room for... Hi. This is good, right? I like this arrangement. Uh, Becky, I want you to let Ben give you a hand, okay? And CC him on all my emails. Did we get yesterday's numbers? Uh, yes, we did. I saw them here. There you go. Thanks. And I need to go over the data on customer purchase patterns. Let Ben take a look at that, too. Actually, let Ben take a look at that first. Okay. Don't worry, Becky. Backup's good. Ping me when Cameron gets in. <sighs> Becky? I've been here nine months, Ben, and she's never asked me to take a look at anything for her ever, okay? I hear you. That's frustrating. I mean, totally. I graduated from Penn. I have a business degree, but I never seem to do anything right around here. And you're like 50 years older than me, and you're deaf. I happen to think you do a lot of things right. <laughs> you do so much. Oh, I know. I know that. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't. I mean... I bust my ass for her 14 hours a day, and she never notices. Oh, oh my god. I hate girls who cry at work. <laughs> How about if you, just as an experiment, try letting me help you? A lot of your stress is going to be lifted once you're out from under this mountain of work. And maybe you should consider leaving here at a normal hour once in a while. See your friends, have a little fun. Mm -hmm. I can offer my assistance in this area. I would love to, actually. I just don't want her to think that I can't do my job and I need an intern to help me. The clip you watched was from the movie The Intern, in which Ben Whitaker, a 70-year-old widower, 
retired phone book company executive joins the senior intern at an online women fashion site about the fit founded and run by a young entrepreneur Jules Austin. Jules is a hard working and independent woman who made her company achieve its 5 year goal in just 9 months. She doesn't sleep enough, doesn't eat enough, and in trying to be fully present in all areas of her life, she is barely keeping her head above water. On the other hand, Ben is initially befuddled by the technology and the concept of an exclusively internet retailer, but adapts quietly and quickly befriending his young co-workers, resolutely wearing his suit and tie every day, and rather predictably becoming the office go-to person for advice and wisdom. Ben is the self-effacing grandfather character type. Ben is assigned to be Jules's intern, and while she initially ignores Ben and behaves flippantly, she realizes how much she needs him and his calming presence and advice gained through a 40-year business career in her life. Another character which gets introduced is of Becky, the personal assistant of Jules, who is a Penn graduate but rants about how she works 14 hours a day and does not get any credit at the end of it. Well, nobody notices the heap of files, folders, and undone work in front of her. She is supported by her colleague Jason, a happy-go-lucky person who is always present for his peers, especially Becky, whether it is professionally or personally. Now, we will explain the personality trait of each character. Let's start with Jules Austin. The personality trait of Jules character is high on neuroticism who is likely to have feeling of anxiety, contrite and is turbulent in nature. Like we saw in the video how she told one of her colleague to transfer Ben because he is too observant but later on she apologized to him for her behavior. The people with neuroticism worry too much and sometimes suffer from overthinking disorder. Apart from this, Jules' character is also high on agreeableness and is openness to experience. She is creative and good-natured person. Coming to Ben, Ben in the movie shows personality traits such as extroversion and conscientiousness. Interaction with Jules, the CEO in the video shows him being open about his feelings and apologizing for what he might have done. This gives us an understanding that Ben is supportive and is comfortable interacting with people under any circumstances. Coming to Becky, the assistant of Jules, personality traits reflected by her are conscientiousness and neuroticism. As neuroticism has already been explained, let's understand what conscientiousness personality trait is. An individual high on conscientiousness reflects the tendency of being careful or diligent. It implies the desire to do a task well and to take obligations to others seriously. The individual tends to be efficient and organized as opposed to easygoing and disorderly. He or she would prefer to follow a plan rather than act spontaneously. Even though Becky was disorganized and higher on neuroticism, she showed many traits of conscientiousness as she was cautious, efficient, dutiful, hardworking and constantly felt underappreciated by Jules even though she completed every task that was given to her. Coming to the character of Jason, he is the happy-go-lucky person in the group who has a good nature and kind heart and is always there to help. An extrovert and social in nature, Jason shows strong traits of agreeableness. In the scene we just witnessed, he put forward a caring and trusting figure for Becky who was in desperate need of emotional support. Judging by this, we can come to a fair conclusion that Jason keeps a lenient attitude in the workplace and is all there for his co-workers.